Now, we're going to talk about Flexo ink blending and, and, and color matching. And it's going to be a series. It's going to be several videos, okay? And uh, this is a subject that I thought it was time we got to because it's very, very, very important. I mean, you know, getting the color right and getting it right every time and getting it right as quickly as possible and not generating too much ink and all of these things uh, you know, are so key to the process, to, you know, to flexible printing, it's just one of the most crucial parts of it. We've got to get the color right, and we've got to do it efficiently. So, I thought we'd go ahead and, and start doing that, right? So, I'm going to take a color, and we're going to explore a few things about that, and evolve to the point to where we're matching that color on press and that sort of thing, okay? So, for the, I'm going to start this off by, uh, let's use 185 red. That's a very common color. It's got a very simple formula. I've got a book here. I've got a, uh, a Pantone color guide. Okay, Every, almost everybody uses a Pantone color guide. Okay. And, uh, all right. So here's 185 red. And uh, I'll just say this. In order to work with effectively work with matching and blending inks and making certain ways and everything like that we ultimately ben we benefit by ultimately working in ratios so we're going to look at how the formulas are expressed for 185 red here on the Pantone color book and we're going to convert those scenarios into ratios and then we're going to work with ratios going forward okay all right so I just set this aside for now All right, so we're looking at 185 red. Okay? Now, in looking at this book, 185 red is expressed in a couple of ways. All right? It says this. It says Pantone 185. And in this case, it says U because it's uncoded, but it sometimes it says C for coded. In any case, I found that the formula is the same, all right? So, but in this case, it just happens to be U, so let's go ahead and use U, all right? As a matter of fact, let's just disregard the coded or uncoded. It's just Pantone 185, all right? So it's got that description there underneath the color bar. Then it's got this. It's got... It's got um, 12 PTS warm red. All right? And we're going to call this W in this example to keep things simple. Then it's got 4 PTS rubin red and we're going to call that R and by the way you're going to hear um, out in the industry you're going to hear people pronounce Rubin differently some people call it say Rubin red, Rubine red, Rubine, Rubin, Rubin so I'm going to call it Rubin red and I mean, it doesn't matter what you call it alright alright okay so that's one thing about it okay now let me get it back over here Another thing, another way it expresses it, on the opposite side of the Pantone Warm Red or Pantone Rubin Red, it has this, 75.0 and 25.0, alright? Now, what does that all mean? Okay. Now, and we're going to, you're going to watch that in any, either case. We can end up with ratios, and ratios is what we're going to work with. All right. That means, in this case, it says, out of uh, in this formula, 12 parts of it are warm red, or 75%, and 16 parts of it are rubin red, or 25%. So over here is the parts. It's expressed in parts, BTS, and over here is expressed in percentage. All right? 
All right. Now, watch this. In either case, we can take these and we're going to end up with ratios. And ratios of a formula will add up to 1. Okay? So now watch this. If it's 12 parts warm red and 4 parts rubin red, then it's 16 parts of something. Okay? Now watch this. If you take the, if, and when you're calculating ratios, you take the whole amount and um, you, ha you have a whole amount. So when you want to find out the ratio components of each one, you divide each, divide each, divide each amount by the whole. And it gives you the ratio of that component. So how would that work here? Okay, we have 16 parts. Right? If we're dividing each amount by the whole, well, if we take 12 and we divide it by 16, that equals, and I don't even have to use a calculator, but I will. Here, where if I can find it. All right, I'm back. Okay, now watch this. 12 divided by 16 equals 0 0.75. 0 0.75. Okay, now it is 75, 0 0.75. Now 4. 4 divided by 16, that right there is 1 over 4, which equals 0 0.25. Okay, so you see? 0.25, that. Now watch this. If you add 75 and 25, that equals 100.0. If you divide 75 divided by 100, that equals 0 0.75. And if you divide 25, by 100, that equals 0 0.25, okay? So in either case, by, by adding these two up and dividing each one by the, the whole, we got the, these ratios, 0 0.75 and 0 0.25, and in this case, we got the whole, we divided each one by the whole, and we got the same ratios, okay? So, uh, step number one of this whole process is anything you're given, you convert it to ratios. You take the whole of whatever it is and whatever unit of measure it is, and you divide each component, and we're going to do each color in the, in the total blend by the, the whole, and you'll get its, its ratio component for the, for the whole. Okay? Now watch.